Okay, so uh, trigger helper class design pattern. Let me explain it to you once again, so that we can continue with that. On a single object, you can only have, you should only have one trigger, not more than that. And that trigger should have all the trigger events, right? Inside it, create that uh, hierarchy with the help of trigger dot is insert is it before is after and stuff like that. And whatever you want to execute in before insert, write it down over there inside uh, that block. Whatever you want to execute in after insert, write it down into that particular block. And with the help of trigger helper class design pattern, you can also maintain the order of the execution of different different uh, programs that you're writing down or different different uh, operations that you want to do onto that particular record. And how you can do that? This is a trigger. And this is a helper class, right? So inside the trigger, uh, you just only need to call the methods from the helper class. And in this helper class, uh, create as many methods as you want and just call it over there in the trigger, right? And you can call a simple, a single method uh, twice or thrice or how many times you want. Like, uh, for all those events uh, for which you want to execute that same functionality or same operation, just call that particular method. So that's what a, what a helper class design pattern is. Are you all clear with that? Everyone? Cool. So over here I've created an example in which before insert is this. I've written down this and before insert and this and after update or uh, before update. And I can write down whatever code I want to write down for after insert, after update, after delete and after delete. So up till now you have learned a lot of triggers. You should try it out that way also without writing it down with trigger helper class design pattern. But whenever you're going to work and wherever you're going to work, irrespective of what project you're working on, you're always going to use this best practice. You're always going to write the triggers using the trigger, trigger helper class design pattern, right? Always. This is another example. So right. Account trigger helper. This is what I have got before insert method before update method, before delete method. I've got different different functionalities over here. After insert method, after update method. And I can call it over here like this. Uh, which one? Yeah, here. Account trigger dot before insert. Account trigger dot before update method. Just like this. So that's what it is. Make sense? Everyone? 